Hello and welcome back to our Treble D Dormer series. In this video we'll be showing you how to bring the furniture, fittings and fixtures into the attic and also how to arrange the model into the appropriate layers. We're going to start off with a slight design change by changing this dormer and creating a larger roof area to accommodate the larger ensuite for the main bedroom. So we delete the dormer and bring in a 12 foot or 3600 wide roof module. And push pull it into shape. We draw the lines in manually to delete excess geometry. and cut a hole in the roof as required. Then use the spandrel to create the walls and floors. Now we return to our level 2 modules that we originally placed onto the sketch. We've already created our attic walls and the floors using the dormers, so we need to delete the shells from these modules. Firstly, we select the modules, make them a group, assign them to level 2 and name them L2. Then we select them all and explode them to expose the shells. Now we go to the shell explode scene, select them and delete them. Returning to our model we can see the remains of our level 2 modules in the background. We can select that group and drag it into place using the guideposts. If we go to our level 2 scene we can get a better picture of where we are at. Now we go to the shell explode scene. The shells are still in separate groups and components so we're going to make them all into one shell to make it easier to edit. So we select them all and explode. Then select all and make group. Assign it to the layer shells and call it shell L2. So returning to our level 2 scene we need to now put our new shell inside the group level 2. So we select the shell, copy it, open up level 2 and paste it in place. Now we can use our guide posts to create any extra walls. And we can get our doors and windows from the component browser or copy and paste them as required. Rearrange our fittings and fixtures. Install our doors, 
then explode our windows. And tidy up with the eraser. So our building is pretty well done. We just need to add some final touches. We build our veranda using treble B post and beam components. And we use this standard treble B gutter profile from our roof area. Adjust our components as required for the veranda ends. And copy the veranda to the back of the house. And we copy roof sections to create awnings. Add some detail to our dormers. and create exposed beams using SketchUp array techniques. Then just add some glazing bars to our windows to enhance the appearance. Our windows are components, so we only have to add detail to three windows in this model to effect a change to all of them. And to finish off, we add some materials using the paint bucket. These are all just standard materials from the SketchUp range. If you don't have the time to create your own SketchUp model, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We can prepare the design work create SketchUp models and animations, or prepare construction drawings for any architectural project. Cheers.